gentlemen, 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 please. Now, we have been looking for the boy uh, for over an hour now. Uh, the police have been contacted, and uh, needless to say, Mayor Shanks is extremely upset over the disappearance of his grandson. That was the scene at 7.30 this evening, the disappearance of 10-year-old Raymond Shanks, the grandson of Mellonville Mayor Tommy Shanks. I'm Flood Robertson. And I'm Earl Cannonbear. And this is Nightline Mellonville. Our coverage of today's top story was to have been the announcement by the Soviet Union of the complete nuclear arms reduction of all medium-range missiles in Europe, an announcement which shocked the world. I'm on the air. But the abduction of 10-year-old Raymond Shanks uh, was a shock to all of us, uh, not only Earl, in the media, uh, but... Excuse me, please, um, if I may. Um, there has not been a link between the disappearance of the young boy and any sort of foul play. That's why I felt we should have held off on this story until we had more information. Well, that's a, that's a good point, Floyd. I stand corrected. Uh, officially, foul play has been ruled out by the police. But it is this reporter's opinion that when the grandson of a prominent American disappears, uh, uh, witness J. Paul Getty III, there is usually a reason behind it, and uh, that reason more times than not has political implications uh, or uh, money implications. And uh, we hope to unravel this mystery uh, tonight. We do have a live uh, feed uh, to the home uh, of Mayor Tommy Shanks, and we're going to be talking to him. Uh, Mayor Shanks, uh, I understand this is a, a very difficult time for you, but uh, if you could, sir, I would like to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, what has happened since 7.30 this evening? Do you feel the kidnapping of your grandson uh, had uh, political implications? Hi, Earl. How you doing? I'm doing pretty good myself. A lot has happened since 7.30 this evening. Young Raymond came home about 10 minutes ago. You see, he stopped off at the malt shop right after school like he always does. Has himself a couple of sodas. <laughs> Except tonight, for some reason, he decided to stay there a little longer. How many sodas did you have tonight? Seven. Seven sodas. <laughs> Imagine that, Earl. <laughs> well, uh, so the, the, uh, the boy, uh, the boy is okay. Well, he's, he's not really okay. He's feeling a little under the weather. How are you feeling now, Raymond? I feel sick. Oh, he still feels sick, girl. <laughs> Too many sodas. Well, good night. Well, um... The boy's okay. Uh, Floyd, uh, he came home. He was, uh, he was just lost. Police Chief uh, Deward Weiss uh, was the first official to be contacted uh, by the Shanks household. Floyd, um, do you uh, have any questions uh, for Mr. Weiss? Me? <laughs> sure, sure. I have uh, a question. Uh, uh, Chief Weiss, yeah, I, what... What did you do when um, you got the call at the precinct about uh, the, sh the Shanks kid? Well, Floyd, at the time the phone call was received regarding the temporary disappearance of the mayor's grandson, we were all extremely elated and excited about the news today of the nuclear arms reduction by the Soviets. It was certainly no secret that the Soviets already had approximately 300 SS-20 missiles with 900 warheads, which had the capability of hitting any target in Western Europe. It's also common knowledge by now that NATO had no land-based missiles with the potential of hitting any targets in the Soviet Union. As Americans and citizens of the free world, this had to be the biggest story to break in the last 25 years in fact, we were all going to watch your show tonight to see what kind of coverage a story like this would get. Well, as I said earlier, we were going to cover that story, but knucklehead Cannon Bear thought he had a scoop. Well, to answer your question, Floyd, we just thought the boy was lost. No big deal at all. Thank you, Chief Weiss. Not at all, Floyd. We enjoy your work down here at the precinct very much. <laughs> knucklehead? <laughs> Well, 
Uh, Floyd, I, I did uh, have a few more questions uh, for Mayor Shanks, but uh, those questions, of course, were based on the premise that uh, the disappearance of his grandson uh, was uh, indeed not just a disappearance, but a kidnapping. As it turns out, uh, the boy was just lost, and uh, the Shanks family is uh, very relieved that he is safe at home, and uh, we here at SC, uh, SCTV uh, Nightline uh, Mellonville are also relieved that uh, he is home safely and also that the uh, the commies have uh, reduced some uh, some arms over there in uh, um, Europe in Europe that's right well good news all around then and that's it for Nightline uh, Mellonville uh, uh, until tomorrow night I'm uh, knucklehead Gannon Bear and I'm Floyd Robertson good night <laughs>